want to do a quick follow-up video on these um, Y6 LED headlight bulbs, which we looked at in the last video. This ridge here that I talked about last time, you see that ridge there, right in the middle there, it kind of goes off into a ridge. That looks horrible at night. It gives this really weird beam pattern, which I think is probably wrong for the UK roads. I, I don't know, I think this is maybe made for left-hand drive, but I can't see the point of that ridge. It's really weird. So I've made a little modification, which I'll show you now. So the thing that makes that beam pattern, I've, I've taken the, um, the reflector off the top here, and the thing that makes the beam pattern is this little ridge here. Do you see that ridge? Now I've seen some other versions of these bowls that have like a little plate that screws in here and you turn it round, whether you're left hand drive or right hand drive. But on these ones, it seems it's just a fixed ridge. Actually kind of molded into the, uh, the aluminium. And that's what gives that weird beam pattern. Now what I've done on this one here is I've filed that away just with a normal workshop file, filed that ridge away and I've colored it in with um, a black marker pen because I think this has to be matte black to stop any kind of reflection. And that gets rid of that ridge and makes a, a much flatter um, beam pattern. Let me show you. So here we go, look. That weird ridge, is, there's still a little tiny, tiny bit there, but you can barely see it, to be honest. So filing that um, ridge away actually gets rid of that weird beam pattern and makes it look a lot better. Now I will say with both these bulbs, there is a lot of light scatter. If you look at the top of that, you see where the beam cut off is, you look at the top, there's a lot of light scatter going up there. Um, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's not brilliant, but it's a lot better than it was. And bear in mind, these are very cheap, these ones. Um, but yeah. So if you want to get rid of that uh, weird cutoff or that weird beam pattern, deflector, whatever you call it, that's what you have to do. Yeah, I guess that's one of the drawbacks with these cheaper versions. But uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you that. So thanks for watching.